In DaVinci Resolve, to copy a clip, you want to first of all select that clip and then hit Command C. Now to paste it, you want to move the playhead to where you want the clip to go and then hit Command V. Now when you have multiple tracks like this, by default, as you can see, DaVinci Resolve only allows you to paste in the same track as the original clip. So by the same token, if you have a clip that's on the second track, you copy and paste, the pasted clip will only go to the second track and the second track only. Well, what if you want to copy and paste to a different track? In that case, what you want to do is to play with these red icons that you see next to each track. They essentially control which track is going to be considered active for the edit that you are about to perform. They are brand new updates in DaVinci Resolve 20.2. They replace the old auto track selector that you see in the older versions of DaVinci Resolve. So what we're going to do here is to click on the red icons for the first video and audio track to turn it off. And if we were to copy and then paste, you're going to see that this clip will only go to the second track because the second track right now is the only active track in the system. All right, now once we're done, let's go ahead and just click on the red icon again for the first tracks just to turn them back on for good measure. Now, what if you have three or even more tracks like this? Well, I don't know about you, but I don't want to click through each track to turn it on and off. So, for example, I have a clip that's on the first track and I want to paste it on the third track. So what we can do in that case is to hold on the option key and then only click on the red icon for the third track. That will allow you to turn everything else off and only leave it on for the third track. And you can do this for the audio track as well. And let's look at what happens when we click on it again. You're going to see that uh, it will turn all the other tracks back on, but only turn off for the third track. So essentially, the option key will allow you to isolate only that track. OK, so now let's go ahead and copy our clip that's on the first track and then paste it. And voila, you're going to see that this clip will only go to the third track exactly like how we want it. Now, to turn back all the other tracks, we don't want to go through them one by one. So what we're going to do is to hold on the shift key and then simply click on any of the other tracks. And this, as you can see, is going to turn all of them back on. And you can do the same thing for audio track as well. Now, in case you don't feel like clicking, you can also use keyboard shortcut option F9 to turn on all the video tracks or option command F9 to turn on all the audio tracks. And if you hit these keyboard shortcuts again, this will just turn all the audio tracks and also video tracks off. All right, guys, one last thing here. When you have a mix of tracks that are turned on and off, the system will by default paste the clip to the lowest active track. So in this case, between track four and two, well, two is the lowest active track. So that's where the pasted clip went. Now, in this example, you have track three and four turned on. And since three is the lowest active track, when we paste it, that's where the clip is going to go. All right, guys, this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you next time.